What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we got a brand new Foot Freeze SBC card and it is going to be Navas to review today. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was going to be Akuna. I'm pretty sure everyone thought it was Akuna. I thought it was going to be the return of Akuna today. Then I saw this Navas card and I thought to myself, right, 5 for 8, centre back. Yeah, that's probably not going to make my team. And then I looked at the in-game stats and I thought to myself, this card would be an absolute insane CDM. He would be like the taller N'Golo Kante, if you know what I mean. Now, when it comes down to comparing this card to his gold card, he has got minus four to pace. It is what it is. Plus five defending and a plus 22 to physicals while having a plus 34 to his strength, which is absolutely insane. High medium work rates, not the perfect center back work rates, but it is what it is. Four star skill moves is pretty deep decent but you won't see me doing skill moves with my center backs it's just not gonna happen because if i lose that ball with a center back i'm most likely gonna concede let's all be fair two star weak foot i like to see three star minimum on a center back because i know if i switch the ball with a three star weak foot it should be okay but if i do it with a two star weak foot it sometimes goes out of the pitch sometimes goes out of the stadium and it's not a great side to see let's all be fair chem style i've gone for an anchor the reason i've gone for an anchor is because of the strength and aggression i feel like he's going to be way way more aggressive and he's going to be way stronger with an anchor chem style than he is with a shadow chem style so i said screw it let's go for an anchor and see how we'll see obviously how it goes he has got 91 acceleration and 85 sprint speed so pace is definitely not a problem shooting ability 81 attacking positioning 66 finishing 75 shot power 70 long shots 75 volleys with the 56 penalties as well if this guy gets into a shooting opportunity I will do it but if he doesn't there's no you know there's no chance I'm even attempting to go for like a an extremely good long shot it's just not going to happen with 70 long shots boys now when it comes down to passing he's pretty good at it 80 vision 81 short passing 75 long passing and 82 curve dribbling aspect 81 agility 84 balance 84 reactions 83 ball control 84 dribbling with the 81 composure defending is looking really really good with the anchor chem style 93 interceptions 85 heading accuracy 91 defensive awareness 93 standard tackling with that 95 slide, ta slide tackling to his game as well physicals are looking insanely good as well night four jumping 83 stamina uh 87 strength and 88 aggression as i said anchor chem style i feel like it's perfect for this guy if i feel like he's too slow somehow then obviously i'll switch to an, a shadow but i really really doubt it now when it comes down to links i have obviously just packed that rio ferdinand if you guys didn't watch the foot channel awards video make sure to go check it out link will be in the description i also got like a kepa this guy which i have no idea how to pronounce Samedo, alan balassi rodriguez and aguero in this team as well i will be playing navas in a 4-4-2 in that center back position but i do want to try him in that cdm position just to see how good he really is there so i will obviously try him in a 4-2-3-1 as well but let's get into the games. So the first thing we are obviously going to try with him is how he feels on the ball. My God, look how small he is, boys. Agility wise, not too bad, but not extremely agile. I was expecting a person that's obviously five for eight to be way, way more agile than he actually is. And that's kind of disappointing in a way because look how slow it is. I don't want to lose the ball, so I am going to pass away. But that's not what I expected. He's going to try this. Really? Nah, you're not going to get past Navas just like that. That's a little glitch that people start to do. And it's kind of getting annoying because that, those like flick animations, you haven't really got like a proper lock on. So you need to kind of time that in a way. Come on, be aggressive here. Be aggressive. I know you want to cut back, kid. I know you want to cut back. So I'm just going to run at him with Navas. Be very aggressive when going in for those interceptions. Gonna go through the middle. I'm gonna try to press him a little bit. I'm noticing, by the way, he's doing so many random animations to the point where he keeps lifting up his leg, acting like he's gonna get it, and he does not get it at all. And that is not an animation you wanna see in that center back position. And I'm tempted to already put him in a CDM position because, my God, he's not performing in that center back position right now. So I have moved Navas into that CDM position now. I am gonna go for this switch with that two star weak foot, and that's what I mean. This two-star weak foot is always going to be annoying when going for switch of plays like that. With a three-star weak foot, I'm going to be honest, I actually feel like that works. Now, that's I need you to be quite aggressive here. He's not grabbing any interceptions until he puts in a tackle. And that's kind of annoying because I'm literally going right next to the ball every single time. But he's not sticking out a foot. And that's what I mean about this interception reach into the middle of the pitch. It's like it just gets annoying. You kind of have to go for like tackles with him pretty much every single time. And if you get an interception, it's probably quite lucky or obviously you read the lane perfectly. 
So his attacking positioning in that CDM position right now is actually quite decent. He's not going forward like he's running forward. And he is on a stay back while attacking cover center uh, construction, which is obviously what he's doing. He's not going forward at all. He might help me out a little bit, like right here in the open space. Let me see if I can go for a run. Keep going. Oh, no. The skill moves don't, don't even feel that good on him either. So he's running forward right here. And I have no idea why, but he's made a pretty decent run. I'm going to play him the ball. Play it up. Is he going to go back into his CDM position or is he going to continue going forward? He goes back into his CDM position. So that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Because I don't really want Navas in that like striker position. Because if he gets the opportunity to shoot, it's most likely not going to go in. Good interception. Really good interception. I'm noticing his transition speed, by the way. And his transition speed, aka going left and right, holding LT and RT. It's really good. Without a doubt, it is really good. But the only problem is you have to be spot on in that passing lane. And you know how annoying like assisted passes this year is the fact that if you put them in the passing lane, they might still, you know, get past you and all of that. Really good uh, interception or tackle, by the way, by him. But either way, as I was saying, when it comes down to stuff like interceptions, you have to be right on the lane. Like, literally right on the lane. Otherwise, you're not going to intercept her with him. He's going to try pass edge. Can I shield him off a little bit? Can I go in for a tackle? Really nice tackle. I'm noticing he does obviously get those little tackles off, which is really good to see. But I'm also noticing he doesn't go in very aggressive. He kind of just like touches the ball, then runs away from it, which, you know, I don't really like. I, bit, I like the bit more aggressive tackles because you usually come out with a ball, I would say like 70% of the time. Now that's... I want to see his strength because I'm just going to hold LT here. I want to see how good his strength is. Look at that. Look at the Anchor Chem style coming to play, boys. Wow. Who's this against? That's against Furlan Mendy. And we all know Furlan Mendy has a decent amount of strength. And Navas is doing that to him. I'm going to try to be quite aggressive with him here. Hopefully, he doesn't go through this middle. And he is going to go through the middle. He's going to go for a cutback. And I am going to put a very good tackle in. Well played. Navas on the ball. Going to go for the switcher play all the way to the other side. Okay. So that's understandable, right? Saying that his long passing is not obviously amazing. So he can't really do those balls consistently. Do I feel like if you export that over like an LBY, it might actually get there? Yeah. Navas, well played. Really good tackle. Ball roll. A few step overs. Little pass away. I'm noticing, by the way, because I am using him a decent amount, his stamina is going down very quickly, which is obviously, again, understandable. X ball all the way to the other side. Yeah, this is what I mean. The X balls do work 100% with him. It's just the LBYs is something you are going to have to be careful with. Now, that's keep going. Oh, my God. That was terrible defending from me. I literally gave him, like, goal side, if you want to call it, and just allowed him to run through. But a guy fake shotted, and I think that was probably a mistake by him, obviously. But either way, he's going to put in a still a very, very good tackle and obviously come out of the ball. One thing I do obviously want to try with him is his skill moves. I want to know how fast his skill moves are because that step over right now seems very slow. The Burber spins don't seem that great either. And it could be obviously because he hasn't got the greatest stamina at this current moment. But if we do it with, let's say, this amount of stamina, it is very, very slow still. So will I advise you guys to actually do skill moves in a CDM or even center back position with him? No, please don't do it. He's going to probably hit it down the middle. Then he's going to pass to there. And I still can't get it. That tackle reach, last interception reach, boys, in that midfield is low-key a problem. Now, I understand players like N'Golo Kante, obviously, they're not tall. They haven't got a good tackle reach or interception reach. But I feel like N'Golo Kante, this year, is so, so aggressive. And he does grab a decent ball time to time at a far distance. While this Navas card, trust me, boys, <laughs> it's not it. I'm going to tell you right now, it is not it. It's just... It's a decent card. It's just not worth how much he is going for. Navas, through the middle. Oh, he doesn't get that, does he? Okay, Socrates on the ball. He's probably going to go back up. Yeah, he is. Really good tackle from Navas. Navas, come on. Be on defense, lad. Be on defense. He's going to go. I knew it. He, I knew he wasn't going to go for that little, little cheeky pass because I'm starting to realize how this guy is passing and he keeps going backwards. So I'm just going to obviously read backwards. And with someone that has Navas' kind of tackling ability, he's always going to like come out with the ball, I would say. Navas. I'm going to go for a rainbow flick, boys. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. We got it. Can I go for a finesse shot as well? Okay. That wasn't too bad. Obviously, it was straight out the keeper, which is the disappointing bit. But there was a fair amount of shot power behind that. 
Navas be quite aggressive here. There you go. Just pressuring the opponent of obviously into a mistake. Would I say Navas is more of a aggressive CDM than he is a passive CDM? 100%. You have to be extremely aggressive with him. Great defensive awareness, by the way. But yeah, you have to be extremely def like aggressive with him because if you be passive, because he hasn't got that interception reach, and even if you put him in the like the perfect passing lane, he will sometimes leave the ball and let it go under his legs or like just stick out a foot and do like a lunge animation, which is always going to become annoying. So it is time to review him. Three games played, zero goal scored with a zero assist as well, using a whole three game loan card that we obviously did receive. I'm going to be honest, he is not worth it. No, 150k for this card? Come on, EA. Come on. You overpriced the Wan Bazaka card, and now you're overpricing this Navas card. We all know 5 for 8 in a centre back position is definitely, definitely not meta. And it definitely does not fit the criteria of him being on a top tier level, if you know what I mean. So do not get this card. He won't do you any good. If anything, he'll do you bad because no interception reach, no tackle reach is always going to be a problem. Who would I rather pick? Kunde or Navas? Kunde 100%, 200%. Let's let's break the break the chart a little bit. Let's go over to 200% because there's no chance I'm picking this card over Kunde. It's simple as that. But let's get straight into the stats. Stats wise, I'm gonna give his pace. I would say an 8.7 out of 10. Really nice transition. Love this transition. It was not slow at all. Very responsive. Him obviously being in a perfect lane to intercept the ball. He is going to probably intercept it unless he does like a lunge animation, which is always going to become a problem. But if you're not in that perfect lane, you're not intercepting it. It is simple as that because he's not tall enough. It's simple. Shooting ability. Now, when it comes down to shooting, I had one shot. It went straight out of keeper, but there was a decent amount of shot power behind it. But I can't really give him a high rating just because there was shot power, if you know what I mean. So for shooting, I would give him like a 5 out of 10. Passing ability, not great. Not great at all. If anything, I would keep it a bit more simple, you know. Just go for the RBAs into the middle. A passes, Y balls. Just don't LBY because that's when it's going to gonna become a little bit of a problem. So for passing, I am going to give him, I will say like a 7 out of 10. Dribbling ability, felt decent on the ball, but didn't feel as expected. I was, I was expecting an actual player, you know. Him being obviously 5 for 8 with those kind of stats. I was expecting a player that's going to feel very, very agile. Going to be turning on the ball like there's no tomorrow. But then he was very sluggish. And that's something I did not like because that straight up tells me I can't really do skill moves with him. Now, I did say at the start, skill moves in a centre-back or even a CDM position is not great. But I gave it a go because why not? It's a review. You need to check it out. So I tried it and it was very slow as well. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I would say, like a 7.8 out of 10. It's not looking great for that overall rating. Let's all be fair. But defending, I did see his defending coming to play a decent amount. I loved his tackling. Didn't like, you know, love it on a whole new level because it wasn't very aggressive when he went in for tackles. It was just one of those clean tackles where he would go in, tap the ball and just walk away. He wouldn't really follow through and try to, you know, get the ball after that. And that's something that you are going to see a little bit, a little bit of a problem with him. Because if he's not aggressive when going in for those tackles, that means you're not going to win the ball the majority of the time. You're going to notice the ball most likely bounce back to your opponent, which is going to be annoying to see. Defensive awareness in that CDM position was not outstanding because of the high medium work rates. He did, he didn't really like go too far back. And he left like a little space in behind, which my opponent obviously in Division 1 is always going to exploit. So for defending, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.7 out of 10. It was decent. It just wasn't, you know, outstanding. Physicals, I did like his strength. I even showed you guys by me just holding LT, his strength was absolutely unbelievable against someone like Furlan Mendy. Aggression was decent, but not enough, I felt like. I felt like it wasn't 88. I felt like it was more into like the 78s, if anything. The jumping, didn't really try it. Stamina-wise, he did last for the whole 90 minutes, but just be careful on like you know, overusing him, if you know what I mean. Because if you overuse him, then he doesn't really last for that whole 90 minutes. But an overall rating for the physicals, I am going to give him... Oh, it's a hard one, boys. It's a hard one. I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give him... It's tough because the passing, the dribbling, and the shooting is obviously going to lower the rating by a fair, fair amount. So I am going to give him... I'll probably say a 7.5. 7 out of 10. Once again, he's not an extremely terrible card. He really isn't. He's just a card that doesn't really fit the meta and it's a card that you're probably going to waste 150k for. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.